All right, welcome back everybody. We're just going to do a short one today. I have a uh, ICOM 7300 transceiver, a uh, Autech WM1 computing wattmeter, an Ameritron ARB704, an RCA switch box, a Heathkit SB200, and a Kenwood SM220 station monitor. So what we're going to do is uh, we're on 3845, it's in the middle of the night, so uh, we're down on 80 meter. We're set for 4 on the load, tune, we're setting the 80 meter band, band, we're setting the 80 meter band. We have relative power displayed, relative power uh, sensitivity is uh, all the way clockwise, and uh, we've got the mode in uh, CW. So we're going to let's see here. Put it in bypass. No, oh, that's not bypass. Now we're in bypass. Our power is set for 10, so we should be about 10 watts. I've already tuned the tuner uh, to the correct uh, settings for the band that I'm on. I'm on an 80 meter loop outside. So. Uh, what we're going to do is show how to uh, properly tune up. So I'll drop this down to 20 watts and we'll key up on CW. I've got the 7300 set for uh, the mic up down buttons as uh, Morse key. The way that you do that is once you're in CW mode uh, you can go to menu and then keyer and then edit set CW key set and change your mic up down keyer to on. That puts you in the correct mode. So, once you're there, then, uh, like I said, you, you need to be on low power. I'm on 10 watts. Uh, you can go ahead and key and if you have a manual tuner, you would adjust it correctly so you get minimum SWR, maximum power output. And that's with the amp bypassed, of course, so we're going to engage the amplifier. And uh, we're still on 10 watts, so we're going to go over to plate, and we'll key. And let's see here. Let's bring the power up just a little bit. There we go. Let's drop the drive power just a little bit. Per the uh, SP200 manual, uh, you want to make sure that you have no more than 200 milliamps of uh, plate current uh, while you're doing the tune-up. And that's where we're at right now. So then uh, we'll go over to the relative power. We want to make sure that we're in range. And what we'll do is we'll adjust our uh, load and tune control. Uh, for maximum power out on the relative power setting. Don't adjust your band switch while uh, you're keyed or you will arc over. There we go. We have maximum power out there. So now we can uh, go ahead and increase our drive power. I find that uh, on my setup I get best power out between uh, 68 and 70 percent. Uh, we're set for 2000 watts on our WM1. So we'll go ahead and key. We need to turn our relative power sensitivity down. All right, we're mid-range. So we'll go ahead and adjust again. For best power out. Usually, if you have your antenna tuned correctly, uh, most of the time your load control is going to be in between 3 and 5. And uh, you'll be in uh, the, on the tune control in whatever band you're in. Now on the uh, Kenwood SM220 station monitor, uh, you can set it for um, basically a, an envelope display, or you can set it for trapezoid display. Uh, we have it set for... Uh, 
the uh, the regular envelope display now. I don't know if you can see what's on the screen here. Let me turn the intensity up. So right now we're just getting uh, a straight envelope because we're on CW. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, set for trapezoid and key. I'm going to go ahead and have to put audio into this. So let's change to sideband mode. And uh, go ahead and move up a little bit. Somebody else has started talking just below us. And all across. There we go. Let's try this. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got good display there. Uh, we look like we're linear. So everything is probably set. Uh, let's go ahead and check our plate. And uh, we'll just go ahead and put it back on CW for that. So plate's good. Grid, we want to make sure that we're not too high there. And we're not. Everything is looking good. All right, looks like uh, we're properly tuned. So that's going to be it for uh, this video. If you have any questions on uh, the SM220, the uh, SB200, the Autech WM1, the Ameritron 704, the ICOM 7300, uh, or how I did the uh, bypass switch, uh, just go ahead and uh, put your question in the comments below. If you have any comments, uh, put them there as well. Uh, make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I hope you have a great day.